Hey everyone, um, today we're going to go through how to import your vegetation massing into your um, Rhino model and then exporting an isometric view of that model as line work back into Illustrator. So first of all you're going to want to find PNG images of whatever vegetation you'd like to bring into your model. Um, today I'm going to be using an aspen tree and you want to open that PNG in Illustrator. The tool that we're going to be using is um, called the Image Trace tool and it can be found under Window. That'll open up the entire panel of it. So usually if I know I'm going to use something um, often, I just dock it on the right hand side. So you can click on the image that you've opened up and you'll see a few different options open in the Image Trace panel. There are quite a few different presets, um, but the one that I usually use is Silhouettes. So you can see it already kind of rendering. Um, if you don't see any change, you just have to click the preview button at the bottom of the panel here. Um, you can play around with these and the advanced settings as well. Um, a lot of these sliders will just show you more or less um, uh, like resolution in the image. So this is just showing you how much of the image is going to be black versus white. So we want more because we want this trunk to be solid. Um, similarly, you can see the number of paths. This makes a bit of a difference, but you can see the resolution of the shape of the tree kind of coming and going. This is the number of corners, so it'll be a little bit of a softer image if you lower it versus a spikier image if you heighten it. In this image, it doesn't make a lot of difference. And then you want to leave the creation on fills. So when you've done that, um, now you can see that you've got this sublayer, which is the image tracing. And that's the only object that we've got in here now. And then once you've done the image tracing, you want to select the object again, go into your object panel, find your image trace, and then hit expand. And so now this gives you um, a group, and so sometimes you'll see multiple objects under here, and you'll have to kind of figure out which each of them are. Um, and you can delete any extraneous ones that you don't want. Fortunately, this just created one object, um, so this will be a really easy live trace. And then lastly, all you want to do is transform it from a fill to a stroke. And you can do that by just do, uh, hitting this um, little arrow here. And now instead of a black fill, we have a stroke around it. So then we just want to export this. And we want to export it as a DWG. Um, and I'll just call it Aspen. Hit OK. So this is the base file that Stephanie has been working with and the site that she showed you in her um, in-class demonstration. So the new site is located here on the waterfront, um, just northeast of the site of the last project. And I've already done the work of tracing um, one of these landscapes that she had shown, which is um, this kind of toxic sludge spill. So I've just used um, some line work to trace that and then I trimmed out the rest of the file as well. So I'm just working in this kind of smaller um, base. I have the section line coming through it and then I did keep the line of the water's edge. So the next thing I'm going to do is take all of this line work and then just project it down onto the surface so that I can locate my vegetation on it a little bit cleaner. Um, I am going to lock my topography and then grab all of this line work. I'm going to type project, unlock the surface and click on it and then hit enter. And then you can see in the perspective view that now I have all of the line work and it's just sitting on the surface. So now we're going to import the tree WD, DWG that we created in Illustrator. 
And if you open your files, you can actually just drag and drop them. You want to insert the file. You want it embedded. And then I like to prompt for the insertion point, but keep the scale uniform. And then just put it down anywhere close to your model. So you can see that we've brought it in here. Um, the first thing we probably want to do is to scale it. So I'm going to make a line that starts at the base of the tree, kind of near wherever the lowest point is. And then we will make it 15 meters tall. And then just hit shift so that you know you're tracking um, orthogonally. And then we want to use the command scale 2D on the tree. Our base point will be the bottom of the tree again. And then our first reference point will be somewhere near the top of the tree. And then second reference point will be the top of that line that we made. And so now that we know um, our tree is about the right scale, we can create a surface from it. So you've probably run across this command before, um, but it is surface from planar curves. And we have some self-intersecting input curves. Um, we do want to use curve Boolean processing. Um, this just gives you kind of one planar surface. And so now we can use um, the what command. You can see this one's a valid block instance. but this one is a valid surface. Um, so now we want to place this um, tree surface on our topography. So we need to rotate it so that it's standing upright. And then because we're going to be making um, some isometric views, we do want to rotate it so that it is facing the viewer. Um, if we look at this in perspective, I already know that I'm probably going to be wanting to look uphill and have the water's edge closest to me. So if I choose this view, the corner that I'm looking at here is the northeast corner of the site. Um, and so we're going to want to just rotate this tree 45 degrees so that it's facing me kind of in this view. And we can use the gumball and we want to rotate it 135 degrees. So you want to then copy them from the base point of the tree, and then you can actually just snap it to any of your lines. Or if you want to snap it to the surface, there is a way to do that as well. Um, if you go into your standard panel, which should be docked up here, there's this whole panel for um, object snaps. And if you want to, you can grab it and dock it on the side here. And the one that you are going to want to use is the surface um, snap. So if we go back and do the copy command again, we want to copy from our base point at the trunk of the tree. And then on the surface, you right click and it's persistent. So it'll keep trying to locate it on the surface. And then you just have to choose which surface you want to put your object on. So now you can choose anywhere um, on the surface or on one of the lines to be copying this too. Okay, so I've only copied these trees as far as the water's edge because I'm not going to be building into the water.